Good morning, SMP Nation. Welcome to a new episode of Takeover Tuesday. I am so excited that you all are here 
to join me. Let me over get over to my comments so I can see everyone and say hi to you guys. Good morning. Linda Brooks, I have to tell you, I was showing the pictures of the Fairlane card that you posted in the group to Blaine this morning. And that turned into he was reciting every single car that he had purchased in his life. So it brought back memories for him. So I hope you know that he loved those pictures and he loved everything about it. But welcome again to Takeover Tuesday. I see everybody all up in here. Good morning, everyone. So we are going to be talking about this adorable little project that I made here. How cute. It's a little hot pad slash coaster slash very customizable project that with more ad- imagination, you can really have some fun with like so this is the first one that I did yesterday but it was driving me crazy that once I finished my points were not centered and they were not adding up and it was driving me crazy so this morning I went ahead and made a smaller one where the points are centered and they are together so I had to redeem myself just a little bit I just haven't finished it quite yet so once I finish I can post a little up close look into the Facebook groups that way you guys can see it but just another option. This is just one configuration that you can do. And this is also a second one. And also with the sizes, you can, this is perfect for cups. Or I mean, even it also works with your hand too, if you needed to grab anything, you know, that kind of thing, but different sizes, different everything. There's so many ways you can switch this little project up and make some that your own, or you can also use an old quilt block and put it onto some insole bright um, quilt it, put it all together, and you've got a cute little hot pad. So, great way to reuse some fabrics and get some scraps out of your fabric room and into a nice project, which is awesome. So, with that, before we get started, I just have a few things I want to chat about with you guys really, really quick. First up, the very important one Hoop Fest 2023 is happening. It's live on our, not live on our website, but the page is live to where you can go look at all the information and go see everything for Hoop Fest and all the details and everything like that. And submissions are open now. So if you have a project, any type of embroidery project, there's not really any, um, like we're not doing two different types of contests. This is just one contest for embroidery. So if you have a project that you really love and you think that it might be able to win over the crowd or get some votes, submit it, have some fun, and we'll see what happens. But submissions are open now until June 4th, so you have all that time to make a project if you want or, again, submit one that you already have. It's completely up to you, but I want to see all of your guys' submissions. It's so much fun to watch and see all of the submissions come through. And then once voting happens, everybody here gets involved. We all get involved with voting. Everyone here, we all do our votes um, twice a day. Everybody in sales and customer service, they all do their votes. So we are all super involved with um, seeing who wins and all that stuff. And it's very exciting to us as well because... It's just fun. Who doesn't love a good contest, right? So it's awesome. So again, yes. So June 4th, get your submissions in. And then June 5th through the 15th, which overlaps with the actual Hoop Fest live show days, that's when you can vote. So you can vote pretty much throughout the entire week, except for the last day, which is when we'll figure out who wins and get all that to you guys on the last day. But you can vote for those 10 days. So what I suggest doing, here's my little tip if you submitted a project. But what you want to do is share the HoopFest page, share the voting page to everyone and all over your social media, everything, everywhere, and have everyone vote for you. And it's just, it's so much fun. It's a great little competition. So share, share, share. And see, you've got tons of friends here. I'm sure if you're in our Facebook group, we are all friends here. We will all vote and get you guys some fun stuff going on. And the prizes this year, they're going to be good, guys. And the demos and the educators that we have, guys, pretty unbeatable, of course. But I know we have a lot of people here that are really excited for Hoop Fest, and we are too. So more information to come, and we will be letting you know more things as we approach. So just be on the lookout on our social media for any more upcoming details or anything like that, because that's where we'll be posting them. All right. Yes, I'm so excited for Hoop Fest. I 
love embroidery so much and it's been fun doing the shows and doing more quilting and sewing projects because I don't know I'm just an embroidery girl but I love that doing takeover and doing new projects and things is helping me kind of learn everything because it all can intertwine it really can it's awesome so that's the best part about sewing is you can just you can surge embroider quilt piece do all that stuff all in one project and it's just so much fun oh did you guys see Roger walk behind me? Roger, say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I forget that you guys can see behind me. And I'm like, oh, Roger, just casually walking by. But if you want to make Roger's day today, let me just tell you one way that you can. Sign up for our emails and you will get access to some amazing coupons, some amazing deals, and all the things like that. Because Roger is the face behind the emails and he does a great job at making sure you guys are in the know about everything when it comes to sales deals and all that stuff. So sign up right now. If you're not, what are you doing? What are you doing? And of course, go and follow us on our social media as well, because we've got lots of fun stuff. Like I was saying before, just in general as well, even besides Hoop Fest, we have fun stuff coming your way very soon. So be on the lookout, but let's talk about Thursday real quick. We have got SMP live coming in hot this week. So we have Nathan from Grace Company coming in to do an amazing demo on the 15 Pro. Now, I'm going to wink a lot. I don't know how to wink, but I'm going to try and wink a lot and tell you guys that you guys should really tune in to this week's episode of S&P Live. If you are looking for a, a basic, all the essential ultimate quilting package and bundle machine frame and extra little things here and there included all for one price tune into S&P live and you will find out this amazing deal and I promise you you won't be sorry so just a little FYI if you are watching today and maybe you have been looking at a longer machine be even a little bit hesitant because they're a big investment I'm not gonna sit here and say that they're cheap but they are a big investment and I want you guys to know the best options. And that's what we all want to do is make sure you guys know the best options that work for you. And yeah, because every, every person is different and each person, you know, their needs match up with a certain machine. So make sure you guys tune in to see if this deal works for you. Oh, I, let me see a comment. I think somebody got the 15 pro already. If you guys got it from last week and from Blaine's birthday bash, let me know how you guys, um, if you got it already, I don't know if you may have gotten it already. Or if you are excited about it, let me know. But it's a great, great machine. And I'm so excited that you guys were able to get your hands on it yet. Melanie, she just said that she got the 15 Pro. Haven't had time to use it. So I'm assuming you got it, which is great. So awesome. I'm so excited for you that you got it. Oh, it's so fun. I love new machines. It's like a new car. You open it up, you unbox it. It's like, oh. So it's awesome super excited. And yeah, just a little wink, 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 kind of wink, tune in to SMP live this week, and you won't be sorry. All right, I'm looking at my little notes here, because I want to make sure you guys are in the know of what is going on over here at SMP. But I think that is about it. Oh, last chance if you guys need anything to stock up on. This is your last chance for the Mother's Day sale. We have tons of fun stuff on sale right now. And even just today, I'll give you guys a fun little coupon code. If you want to go ahead and get some stabilizer today, we have amazing Stay Perfect stabilizer in the rolls and in the pre-cut um, pieces where you it fits directly with a hoop. We have different sizes for the different sizes of hoops. It's great. But if you want a discount on stabilizer today, go ahead and use code STABLE, all caps 15. There you go. Go stock up on some fabric or not fabric. You guys Go stock up on some stabilizer. There we go. And go get some amazing stabilizer because I was just using it this morning and it is the best and even better when it's 15% off. How great is that, you guys? All right. Well, I'll put it down in the comments below in case you guys forget. I'll make sure you guys can see that and get your hands on some stabilizer. But with all that being said, I think that is it for all of my little announcements and my little spiel of things happening here. But here, I'm going to put it, I'll put it down. Once I start the video, I'll put the coupon code up on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, but yes. Ooh, somebody asked about Fabric Palooza. So Fabric Palooza was great. Oh my goodness. It was awesome. We had so much fabric bought last week. 
I think Kyle, do you remember how many yards we sold last week? We sold 600 yards of fabric last week and we still have more. So you can go ahead and still shop on that fabric blues a page and get your hands on some more fabric as well. And it's still that same price, which is awesome. So if there's anything you need or anything like that, fabric blues a page is still up and you can go still go browse some awesome fabrics. So, Oh, they're all saying, hi to you now. <laughs> Here, let's see. I can twitch it there. Oh, you're on the frame. There's the arm. There we go. There we go. <laughs> wrong, wrong angle. All right. Well, Yes, Fabric Palooza went awesome, and it was so much fun. I feel like the show went a little bit shorter last week, but I think it's because we have the whole routine down. Like, Blaine just got – he got in the zone of showing all the fabrics, and so it was so much fun just to see all the new fabrics and stuff. And I was picking out ones that I wanted. I'm like, ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. Looking at all of it. Like, I want it all. So, yeah, super exciting. Ooh, and there's one more thing that I want to show you. This is just a little – little project from a while ago lynn at our san marco storm giving a huge shout out to i've been meaning to bring this on the show i don't know if i have already but why not i'm just gonna do it again but lynn at our san marco store made me this amazing bag look at the detail i'm gonna try and get as close as i can but the detail on this you guys and she's actually making one for the Hoffman challenge this year and I have some photos maybe next week I'll show her updates but isn't it so gorgeous she found this pattern it's a sweet pea embroidery pattern and she told me she said what colors do you want what kind of thing do you want like pick out some fabrics when we were at the store and she made this for me quite a while ago when I was still working at the stores and so I picked out all my fabric and she stitched it all up for me and I still use it to this day it is my favorite bag ever and if you are ever at the San Marco store please stop in and talk to Lynn about her amazing bags because she always has them on display as well and you can go see all the stuff that she's worked on amazing it's great but yeah I love it I just I had to put it up here on display because I go through phases where, like, say I have to switch to a smaller bag. Once I go back to this bag, I'm like, oh, it's like you never left. I'm back. <laughs> it's like a part of me now. But, yeah, so much fun when you get projects made and, you know, as gifts and things like that. It's so awesome. I love it. Well, now that I've finished my little spiel, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Again, talking about these amazing little coaster pads. They're so much fun to make and so easy it's great. And the fact that you can do different things as your top, you can even, you don't have to do this exact pattern that I did in the video. You can use an old quilt block. You can use, um, you know, triangles, you can use squares. There's so much stuff you can do. And I just wanted to make this video as a way for you to kind of get a vision and also get some inspiration of what you can do um, on your own. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and it's, it's really fun. I'm excited. I just can't wait to see what you guys are going to create as well. And of course, join our fr our Facebook group if you want to see more pictures and photos. And if you do make a project from today's show or even from any takeover show, post it in the Facebook group because I love seeing it and it makes me so happy. I just love it. So that's my little sign to you. All right. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Let's get started with the video and I will be back really quick to chat more and do some giveaways. All right. See you guys in a little bit.
I'm just calling to say I you guys what did you think the first question that i'm seeing right here that i want to answer is what machine i was using i was using the baby lock presto 2 and i've been using that one for maybe for the past couple of months for sure and i love it i really really enjoy it it's gotten me through all of my projects and it's really it's a good size so even if you took it off and say it added like an extension table or anything like that there's a lot of throat space that you can still work with and, um, you know, there's lots of room for tons of projects and I really like it um, because there's so many, it's a simple, like it's very user-friendly, very simple to work with, but there's lots of stitches, decorative stitches. There's tons. I wish I could bring you guys over there, but tons of stitches, lots of things. And if that's, if somebody comes to me and they're like, what's a sewing machine that you'd recommend me to get? I would say the Presto 2. Um, just based off of my experience, I've had nothing but good luck with it. And that's, that's the secret with sewing, right? You want to have a good, a good relationship with your machine. You don't want to be fighting your machine all the time, right? <laughs> so awesome. I love that you asked that question. Thank you so much. It's a great machine. It really is. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I saw, I was trying to comment as fast as I could. You guys are fast with the comments so I'm trying to keep up with you guys but somebody said that it's too pretty for a hot pad maybe a coaster and you're probably right if I'm going to be honest I have a, a giant bag of scraps just a giant little bag of all these scraps and it's overflowing with tons of fabric of just little cuts big cuts jelly roll strips just stuff that I can't think to use and so I walked over to the to the bolt to my big bag of fabric grabbed a couple that I thought went together <laughs> and that's how this came about so I love it you guys love the fabric that's really great <laughs> I just was like 
Okay, this one looks good. Okay, this has the same blue. All right. I think they're all from the same line, though. I want to say it's Euphoria by Moda. I know it's Moda for sure um, because I love Moda so much. And I think this is Moda, too. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I'm a Moda. I'm the Moda super fan. That's that's me over here. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of how these projects came about. And um, I was trying to find something that was simple but it still kind of pushed me to use some quilting techniques. And I think it turned out good. I just couldn't get over the fact that my corners were not straight and touching and even. So that's why I came in and whipped up this one really quick because I had to redeem myself. I had to. I had to. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys and see what you recommend I do next. Um, Neva said, make a scrappy block quilt. I was this close to doing a video on how to do a heart quilt block. It was a heart with a whole bunch of different colors in half square triangles. And I was this close to doing it, but then I decided not to. And I don't really know why. I think because I started it and I didn't have everything I need. Something, something happened where it didn't come up. But if that's something you want to see, I will do it again. I will actually film it and make a heart quilt block because it's so cute. It's the one from, oh my goodness. I'll have to, I'll get back to you on that. I'll post it in our Facebook group of which one that I was working on. But I'm seeing more in the hoop projects. Okay. See, I love embroidery. So it's, it's hard for me to, I want to find projects that are sewing, quilting, embroidery, serging, all of that. Um, but I, I love embroidery. So I always, I always end up going back there, but I want to try new stuff, but yes, definitely more in the hoop projects. Okay. I love in the hoop projects because they're so easy. Um, and they're very time efficient, like having it all done in the same place with, you know, in the hoop, like flashback to when we did our, um, pie in the hoop pads, the little hot pads that was all done in the hoop with the backing and the batting and everything so easy and I can kind of see the difference because I could see how you could do this maybe in the hoop um kind of seeing it as I've dabbled in digitizing in the hoop projects and I've worked with software on in the hoop projects so I can kind of see how you can replicate this in the hoop but I can see the differences so like in the hoop versus sewing it all together I lean towards in the hoop for sure because it's just so much more simple and efficient and I feel like I'm quicker and I kind of have a better groove when I do more in the hoop so if you guys agree then that's great because I'll start doing some more in the hoop stuff too um but it's up to you guys um Ivana said she made the heart quilt block and made a queen quilt from it see I want to try that because I love the look of heart quilt blocks I think they're adorable and there's so many ways that you can do them as well I don't know maybe I'll have to come back and do that maybe I'll do that next week and then we'll get back to in the hoop um Cindy said a tote or a simple bag. Okay. Okay. I love bags. So this is making my brain come up with all different sorts of ideas. <laughs> um, Leah said in hoop projects, I can fit four by fours. Okay. That's, that's a good thing. I'm going to actually, I'm writing that down right now because I know some of you guys have smaller machines. And if I do a design and you guys are able to get your hands on it, I definitely want to make sure that everyone can get involved in it. So Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, thank you for your input. I love that. And it's getting me excited. I always leave the show when I'm done. Very excited of what I'm going to make next. So awesome. Very excited. All right. You guys ready for some giveaways? Let's do it. Denise said maybe a stuffed animal. I found a pattern of the most adorable little bunny stuffed animal. And I think I showed it to Kyle too. I'm like, I'll make this and you can give it to your daughter. Um, but I want to make stuffed animals. I want to make stuff like that. I just, I do. I want to try things that are new, but it's funny because I will get so easily frustrated and I know that I'm not the only one, but like I'll be sitting, I'll be in the middle of a project and I just get stuck and my mind goes blank and I'm like, what do I do next? What is, what? my my mind just is like whoa we were, we're doing a project right now <laughs> so it's it's getting that under control so that way I can try new things and be focused which is awesome but nevertheless let's get into some giveaway shall we okay let me pull up my screen here for you let's go ahead and see 
what we're going to do today. Now, our first giveaway, of course, today is going to be one of your very own SMP sew mats. These are the best. I love these sew mats so much, and they are great under your machine. They help with noise, vibration, and in Blaine's words, if you don't have a sewing machine mat, let's see if I get this right. If you don't have a sewing machine or SMP sew mat under your machine, you are doing your machine a disservice. Did it. I hope he's proud. But if you win this today, you can go ahead and pick your very own size and color of sew mat. That way, if you have a certain theme in your sewing room, you can match if you are a brand brand type of crafter where you want to coordinate with all your brands we've got brother blue we've got baby log gold we've got bernina and janome red we've got it all for you so all you need to do is just pick out which one you want and then you tell us and then we send it to you it's so easy that's all you gotta do and let's go ahead and see all right let me hide this comment here so that way you guys can see the wheel but let me take this off really quick and we will get into it all right Almost forgot our music. This is a dance party. We're supposed to be dancing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and spin and see who's gonna win a Soma, a brand new Soma. I am so excited. Let's do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Christine Vasquez, congratulations. You have just won a brand new Soma. So if you could please just go to smplive.tv, pick out a Soma that you would like, pick out the size, and we'll do the rest and ship it out to you. Just let us know what you want and we'll get it out to you. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do one more. I wanna get one more person a brand new sew mat. So let's spin again and see who's gonna win another sew mat. Cause I'm seeing a lot of people on here who might not even have a sew mat. Let's see. Cindy J, congratulations. You have just won a brand new SMP sew mat of your choice. So if you could just go to smplive.tv, it's right down there below. Go to smplive.tv and fill up the information and then just let us know what size and what color that you would like and we will do the rest and get that out to you. All right, look at that you guys. All righty, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a $100 gift card. All right, let's see who's gonna win. I am excited. Bum, ba, da, da. Let's spin. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Oh, and I've got a surprise guest here today. Come on in, Robert. Paula Becker. Say, Paula Becker, you won. Paula Becker, you won. Yay. Yay. <laughs> This is Robert, our amazing sales specialist here, who you have probably talked to plenty of times on the phone. Oh, oh, where'd he go? Oh, and he's back. Okay, time machine. So if you are ever looking for anything or need to talk to someone, he's one of the amazing specialists that can help you out. So Robert, what's your favorite sew mat? Leopard print. Of course. Of course. There you go. And we're matching today. Look at that. All right. Well, Paula Becker, congratulations on winning that gift card. And if you could just go to smplive.tv, fill out your information. We'll get you that gift card and you can go shop and stock up. How awesome was that? And he's gone, gone with the wind. All right. Well, <laughs> that was just a fun, lovely little thing. Oh my gosh, look at all your comments. <laughs> it's so funny. Barb says, I'm pretty sure I have talked to Robert. You've probably talked to a handful of all of them. We've got the amazing Robert, Max, Kelly, Gary, Eric. Am I missing anyone? No, I think that's it. Those are all of our amazing people over there that you can go talk to and chat with. And then a customer service too. We have a really good team over here, guys. I don't mean to brag, but they are all my besties. They just are. And they put up with me, which is awesome. And it works. Alrighty. Well, that is going to wrap up our little giveaways for today and as well as wrapping up the rest of the show. Oh, oh, not the end. We have another person who wants to come and say hi. <gasps> it's Max. This is another one of our amazing sales specialists who, yeah, he's too tall for me. Um, if you are ever on the phone, you probably talk to either one of them. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alrighty, well, there's a couple of people that you might have chatted to on the phone. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was so funny. Alrighty, well, 
Thank you all so much for watching today's show. It was quite a little exciting show. Paula says that Max, Max, he left already. I was talking as if he was right there. Call Max, call Rob, call Kelly, call Gary, call Eric, call everyone. Just call us and we'll tell you what you need and what the newest and most popular things are. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and see what these little hooligans are doing over here. But I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. And I will see you guys on Thursday with Blaine for SMP Live. All right. Bye, guys. I will see you guys so soon. Bye.